The best trade setups that you can take are the ones that are simple, barely any rules, they're easy to understand, they're replicatable, and you can execute them without question because most importantly, they work. I'm jumping right into this video, but before I do, ladies and gentlemen, do me a huge favor, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed already, consider subscribing and enjoy the video. Before I get started, this whole entire slideshow is down in the description below. If you want to follow along, go print it off, do whatever you'd like with it. The information is down in the description. So let's look at some of the rules. This whole entire thing is based off of trading around the news. New York session, pretty much every single day of the week, there will be at least one news announcement, either at 8.30, 9.45, 10, and whatnot. Those schedules, I always look on Forex Factory for the, the news releases for major red news, MRN, and I only care about the red news. And you can find that on Forex Factory. I don't really trust TradingView because a lot of times they leave things out and uh, get caught. So some of the rules of trading around the news. I am never going to be in the market when the news hits, number one. Number two, depending on the news schedule, if there's news around 8.30, I will wait till after the news and then I will execute. If there's news at 10 and 8.30, generally I'm going to stay out of the market altogether and just wait until after 10. If there's news at just 10 o'clock, maybe I'll take a trade in the first hour or you know that nine o'clock area, but typically I'm going to wait until after the news so that way I can execute with confidence knowing that the whole market wasn't built up for that news release and I don't get caught in some kind of weird ranging market. My All of my news trades are going to be based off of a larger trading setup. Some of these larger trading setups are going to include first red day, first green day, inside days where you have a false break of that inside bar and a reversal, or they break out pullback and continue after an inside day, and that would be a trend trade. We have three days of previous days, high or low, and generally those are going to present as a short squeeze or a parabolic trend style of trade. Day two trends, day three trends, and day three reversals. These day threes, day twos, I am referring to the three day cycle. As I said, I look to only get in after the news. That being said, let's say for example, 8.30 is the news. Generally, if the pattern has already presented prior to 8.30, and then 8.30 happens and the news hits, and that bar, that first bar in the, on the one minute chart completes the pattern, I will look for two types of trades. Either a first bar entry, or I will look for 15 minutes after the news, first engulfment, first bounce style of trade. And now I'm going to show you how and the rules based off of those two types of trades. The first bounce can occur between five and 15 minutes after the news. It's a momentum style of trade and the trade should not mess around. Once the engulfment happens and you enter the market, there should be no more pullback. There should be no more uh, pinning or doing anything weird. It should just go at that point. If there is any sort of market gains, I will simply close the trade and reassess because maybe I've missed something or maybe the market is just not doing what I believed it to do. So I'm just going to close the trade, preferably either at break even, maybe minus a few pips, or maybe slightly in profit, but regardless, I'm out. A first bar entry is a trade where after there's a first bar, the 8.30 one minute candle opens, explodes, and then I will put a buy stop above that candle for the market to cruise through and get me into the market. Similar to the first bounce, this is a momentum style of trade. There should be no pullback and simply accelerate in the direction of the trade. An exception to that is when the second bar explodes and creates a range, and then maybe there's a couple of candles within that one candle that's perfectly fine and acceptable. What I don't want to see is an engulfment of that candle, and I'm gonna show you examples here soon. Again, if that does not happen, I will close and I will reassess. I'm going to start off with these super fancy pre-K kindergarten style of pictures here and I'm going to make them relevant with actual charts. These or this is what I don't want to see. I don't want to see a consolidation within these large levels and then on the news release, 
the explosion to just go back to one end of the range or the other. If anything, I want to see an explosion and then there's room to go up to one of these levels because that gives me room for the trade to continue. Whereas in this example, we have levels down low, levels up high, we have consolidation, all the price action within the day. And then notice how the news candle on the one minute explodes and only goes back to that level. I either want it to go maybe halfway or you know a quarter of the way, whatever it may be, so that I have room to go or I want it to explode all the way through, letting me know, hey, maybe this is a range expansion of that level. And these important levels could be high of the current month, week, day, or previous levels such as previous month's high, week's high, or day's high. This is another example of a no-go for me because this is meant to be a momentum style of trade, and this is not a momentum style of candle. This is a massive doji candle where we're trading in between a range, maybe they pin through the high of the range, through the low of the range, and then we close right back in the middle. Now, a further thesis can come after this candle, but typically I am no longer looking to enter this market after I receive a news candle such as this. Now let's make an attempt to take my super sophisticated drawings. We'll go back just a week or maybe two weeks and find the most recent news candles. This chart is gold and we're gonna make those drawings relevant. Here is an example. This dotted line right here is the previous day's high. We have a consolidated range right here. Notice that this is the news candle. They've exploded out of the day's consolidation, but then they've done a one, two, three, up to a level. They pin through it, totally fine. So if you do a first bar entry based off of what I've just said, you put your buy stop above, they've shot up and gone through a level, perfectly fine. At this point, you're still in the market. At this point, you're still in the market and you get an engulfment, okay? This is exactly what I don't want to see. I don't want to see momentum fade and then an engulfment. The moment I get an engulfment, I'm out, I'm done. If I haven't already taken I think this was almost 40, uh, 30 or 40 pips on this one candle alone. Um, I would have probably considered closing based off of what I said about the range, but if I haven't closed at that point, I'm definitely getting out at this point. They should not have engulfed. There should be no pullback. It should just go. News at this point explodes up to a level, but not through it. Red line stop in case of first bar entry. So this is my buy stop at the close of this candle. I'm looking for the market to explode and the engulfment, as I just said. That last example was an example of a first bar entry, but that was an example of a first bar entry that you don't want to see. This is an example of a first bar entry that has played out fine, but maybe you would have been nervous because you just don't quite understand what you're looking for. This red line is my buy stop. I put it above the high, the close of this candle. I don't put it there until the candle is maybe one or two seconds about to close. And then once it is about to close, I'll put it, the next candle opens and launches higher. I want to point out some things. Notice this two bar pullback. I know I said that you don't want to see any fiddling about, that is true, but it will not always just go in a straight line. There will be an explosion and then sometimes you'll get a little slight pullback or something like this. But what I don't want to see after my entry is an engulfment of this candle. If they close below this candle, I am out. I don't care if my stop was all the way down here. I don't care if my stop was all the way down here. Once this candle closes below this candle, I'm done. I'm out and I will reassess. And because they have gone up, they have said this is a, a fake out breakout candle and maybe they're coming back down and I don't want to take a full stop. I'll just close it as fast as possible. In this instance though, you would have been safe with a 14 pip stop and you would have had a good solid 50 pip target or if you wanted to hold on for longer. I even gave an example of where I would be considering on adding into pyramid into this position, in which case I would have had one position open here, a smaller position open here so that my average could have been in this area somewhere and I would have still been technically at break even. Something else that I wanna point out about this first bar entry is notice that we have a prior setup already forming. We have a parabolic short squeeze where we have a break in structure to the upside. You can't see it to the left, but there was a larger 15 minute break in structure over here. We've split this range and we've jammed back down in three pushes and then 
started our little channel here and exploded vertically off of the news. So this has already become a larger trading setup and we have lots of distance to go before we get to the next level. That's why I prefer to see these where there is no level been broken. We just have a breakout of a large consolidation, which means there's range expansion opportunities of this day. Continuing the first bar entry discussion, I've blown this up a little bit. This is not the same example, but it's the same exact concept. Notice the previous day's high is right here. We have a break in structure to the left. This is the low. This is the high. Everything on the middle is nonsense. They break the high and then they jam back down into the low of the day. This is three hits to the low of the current day, as well as we have broken out of the previous day's high on a Monday, which means we are at the low of the current week and all of this volume has the potential for being trapped at the low of the current week. Please rewind this a couple of seconds and listen to what I just said one more time because that's very important. This consolidation is the parabolic trending pattern. This is the manipulation of that channel, which has now created a larger channel and then gone vertical on the news. So this overall has presented as a large scale parabolic short squeeze as well as trend trade. This could all become volume trapped at the low of the current week. Beautiful, that's great. That doesn't help you get in after the news though. With the understanding though of the first bar entry and the 15 minutes after the news, you have to decide which one is going to take place. So first bar creates the range and I put my buy stop above that candle just in case it explodes through. And that does. It's exactly what happens. We go, we get about a 14 pip stop once again. And we go up one candle, two candle, three candles. And in three minutes, you have over 50 pips. And you're out. You're done. You've got almost a one to four risk to reward. You can go about your day in three minutes and be done. Common misconception about the 15 minutes after the news first bounce style of trade is that it has to come exactly 15 minutes after the news. And that is simply not true. I'm going to show you how to think, use your brain and just use a little bit of thinking power and try and figure out using my entry criteria, how you can make this relevant. So in this case, you have a low and you have a high. The reason you have a high is because we have a high, a low, and then a higher high. So at the break of this high, this becomes the low, and that becomes the high. That's just a review of my market structure class that I've taught numerous times in the past. But, so at this point, all of this stuff is in the middle. It's a consolidation. There is nothing relevant about all these little itty bitty swings. What becomes relevant is after 8.30. This is 8.30 news candle right here. It jumps down and breaks structure to the downside, which tells me based off of my entry criteria, I need to either look for a first bar entry based off of the news, or I need to look for three pushes back up because that's what my entry criteria says. I get a break in the structure. I need three pushes back up. In this case, it jumps down and there is no first bar entry. They do not break below, but we do have three pushes back up. The first push, the second, and the third. This is also a one sideways, two, and three. Now, let's talk about timing. This engulfment is 13 minutes after the news. Not quite 15 minutes. It could have been at 14 minutes after the news. To be honest, it could be directly at 15 minutes. But the point I'm trying to get across is just that it does not have to be exactly 15 minutes. So on the engulfment, you get in the market. I put in my stop just above the last candle and I wait. They come down a few candles. I'm in profit. Notice the candle right here. They jam down into the low and it does not follow through. There is no engulfment back up. They have just once again stayed inside of this candle's range, waited three candles and then continued the move. Nothing to worry about. If they would have engulfed that candle, I would have been out of the market, maybe at a small loss, maybe at break even. But regardless, I am pretty safe. Get down to 50 pips, you close the trade, you're done with for the day, and you can go ride your bike or do whatever the heck you feel like. Although one of my shorter videos, this is by far some of the best information I have put on this channel yet. This trading setup alone, if you have an understanding of the rest of the strategy and only look for these news trades could make you a profitable trader. If you took 
every news trade or if you just knew what to look for on each news trade you could be over and done with with your trading day within five to ten minutes every single day because you know that there's news tomorrow at 8 30 i'm going to show up at 8 15 and look for the criteria ladies and gentlemen i hope this video has been useful to you if it has leave me a like consider subscribing to the channel maybe even share the video with a friend and you'll have a wonderful day Thank you.